Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink, and welcome back to me. <laughs> I shouldn't really say welcome back, I'm not really back. I do apologise for how this video looks and sounds. It is visually rather blurry, because I'm using the webcam view but blown up, basically. It's supposedly 1080p, but it's really not a clear image at all. It's fine when it's small and in the corner, it's quite clear actually, but not at this size, so <laughs> yeah, bear with me. Second of all, you can hear that the room noise is very much reverberant. There is audible echo, and that is something that is going to have to be addressed before the resumption of my regular recording process on this channel, or, you know, the resumption of regular programming, if we want to put it that way, which would be kind of silly, and I'm not going to put it that way. Um, I don't know how this looks, this probably looks a bit weird, I mean I've got my setup behind me, um, that's my PC setup, it's, uh, I'm not going to take time to show you the whole thing, but it's there in the background, you can sort of see Elden Ring in the back there, which might serve as an indication as to what some of the subject matter for this recording will be, but I suppose I'll take this opportunity to say first and foremost that I am indeed still not recording. I said in my last update video that it might take as long as two weeks. Well, that was actually a hopeful estimate. I didn't really know how long it was going to take, but as the tone of the update video likely made clear, I had a sense that it could take some time. And that is indeed the case. I do not yet have the other half of my setup organized. I also need to get, well, let me be specific about that. I still need to get another desk for my gaming setup. So basically where I will line up all of my consoles and have my larger television displays. I will have two television displays, one for modern games and another for older games. Needless to say, if I'm going to record older games, I need to be able to see them on a display. Um, the larger display that I have for recording games does not actually accept the lower resolution inputs of the um, older consoles that I record with. Namely, Nintendo 64, GameCube, uh, PlayStation 2, Super Nintendo, all of those just doesn't work, unfortunately, with my newer displays. So. It's a bit awkward in that regard. I need to try and negotiate the size of two monitors now. Two, well, I guess one television and one large monitor that I've been calling a television. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need to have both of those on a large desk plus a bunch of consoles, so that needs to be organized. Um, as well as that, in regards to the reverberance of the room that you can hear right now, that will need to be addressed before I actually start recording again. Um, that can be addressed fairly easily. Um, that new desk that's coming in will contribute to a deadening of the room at least slightly. Uh, just because, you know, if you have a wide empty space and fill it with furniture, that does, you know, reduce the reverberance of, or the reverberation. Um, but, yeah, there's another large table that I need to get in here in, in this space that is not re actually related to recording at all. You're not going to be seeing that table, it's just part of the space in my living room. But that will also serve to um, reduce reverb. And I'll also be laying down um, carpets, I guess, or rugs, whatever you want to use as the word to describe that. Which will, because I've got a tiled floor, and I knew that with this tiled floor it would create this sound. Um, but yeah, if I reduce reflections with rugs, that will help as well. Basically, I have things that I need to organize. Uh, as well as that, I will be getting a new green screen, which will be kind of expensive. I'm going to get one that sort of will have a heavy base on the ground and you just um, pull it up and it'll actually have a frame on the back that will allow you to keep it in place at whatever height you desire. And that's going to work rather nicely for this setup, but that thing's kind of expensive as well. So um, there are expenses involved and I'm not currently rolling in money. <laughs> um, getting this new place happened rather suddenly. I would have liked to have been in a better financial situation prior to taking the plunge, but sometimes you have to take opportunities when they do arise and I did so. 
So what that means is that I don't actually have the money on hand to immediately have the full setup at my fingertips and ready to go. So I'm still working on that, if you can forgive me. I don't think it will take too much longer, probably another week or two, maybe two or three maximum, I don't know. Um, that is in the context of the fact that I'm pretty sure it's been three weeks since I last recorded anything. So yeah, sit tight. I apologize for how long it's taking, but you know, if I could have it be faster, I would, but I can't. So yeah, I'm just letting you know the situation there. Also, um, Elden Ring's about to come out. <laughs> I haven't talked about Elden Ring in depth. I've discussed Elden Ring on camera. I've said that I will be playing it. I'm not in a position to record it, obviously. I think the information that I've provided in this video thus far has made that fairly clear. I could, of course, do an audio-only recording, but then you'd be hearing this reverberance, like especially when I have S pronunciations, you can hear the whole thing almost shimmering around me, and it's awful. Um, this sort of sound is not good enough, in my opinion. You know, I do have a certain standard to which I hold myself to, and this is far below that standard, so I will not be recording under these conditions. But it sort of works anyway, because I wasn't intending on recording Elden Ring as soon as it came out. I wasn't sure how long I was going to leave it before recording it. But to be completely honest, I don't think I'll be recording Elden Ring for quite some time. The reason why, and I may as well go over this again for the benefit of those who didn't hear me discuss it while live at some point, the reason why I don't want to record it now, irrespective of my setup and my ability to record it, is because I want to enjoy it. I want to have a first-time experience with it that is immersive, in-depth, and honestly enjoyable. I want to be able to give myself to the game, and I want the game to be able to give me something in return. It's going to be a whole lot harder to do that if I'm distracting myself with a commentary. And people might not realize this, but the way in which I do a commentary is fairly thorough. I put a lot of attention into what I'm saying when I'm recording a video or doing a live stream or whatever. Now that's perfectly fine if I'm playing a game that I'm intimately familiar with, but if it's a game that I've never played before, I don't want my first experience to be marred by what is essentially a distraction. It's a happy distraction. I enjoy commentating, but I don't want that to detract from my first time playing a game. And when you're playing a game for the first time, it is more important than ever to be able to allow a free intake of new information. You have to be able to absorb all of the new information that is required to learn the new game that you're playing, and I find that that's a whole lot harder to do when you're trying to conduct a commentary. I hate it. I think it's very annoying. I've done it before, and I didn't enjoy it. So, yeah, as far as playing games I've never played before with a commentary taking place, I'll do it for certain games but not for games like Elden Ring. I'm excited for Elden Ring. Um, as I'm recording this, it should be coming in about an hour and a half from now. Should be. <laughs> it's, never, it's never exactly when you expect it to come, is it? But I'm hoping it'll be in about an hour and a half. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting situation. Of course, a lot of people have been waiting with bated breath from the moment it was first announced. I could not be described in that way. Um, the situation for me has been, oh, Elden Ring is now officially a thing and it's going to be coming out in a number of months. Well, I'll just forget about it until such time that it's actually about to drop. And that is exactly what happened. I realized like last week that, oh yeah, that's right. Elden Ring exists. And then I sort of forgot about it again until I think yesterday or the day before and I went and purchased it for preloading on Steam, and then, yeah, I've been fairly excited since then, but that's been, that has definitely worked in my favour, because I haven't had to sit here and wish that February 2022 would be rolling around. It hasn't been in my mind, or in my thoughts. As far as what I expect from Elden Ring, 
I try not to expect too much. What I expect is something very similar to Dark Souls. Very similar. I don't want something to deviate heavily from the Dark Souls formula. It, it might. I really don't know. But I want open world Dark Souls. That's really my expectation. I'm being a bit light on the Dark Souls side of said expectation. I do expect, obviously, that it will be open world. That is how it has been advertised. But it doesn't have to be exactly like Dark Souls. I want it to be. But we'll see what happens. I really don't know yet. I do have a history of not enjoying from software games that are similar to Dark Souls but aren't. And that's because I hold the Souls formula to such a high regard, or in such high regard, that anything that's a little bit different to that feels like it's not as good as what it could be. That's, I think, most of the problem. I've never played Sekiro, I can only say that having played Bloodborne, that was the impression that I had. So it sort of... It repelled me from Sekiro, I wasn't interested in it. I still haven't played it and I don't know when I will play it, probably never. I just don't want to engage with that sort of thing. Will Elden Ring be a repeat of my experience with Bloodborne? I fucking hope not. <laughs> I really didn't like that game, and a lot of people cry bloody murder when I say that. It's like, how could you possibly not like Bloodborne? It's the best game ever made. No, actually. I don't like it. It's... Yeah, I have some choice words for that game. But it's a very long story as to why I didn't like Bloodborne when it came out. It very much related to the fact that I absolutely hated Dark Souls 2 at the time. And a lot of people were still excited about that. You know, you have to understand, Dark Souls 2 did not fall out of favour in the community, in community until like three or four years after it came out. So, yeah, I was so disgusted with the community for enjoying Dark Souls 2 because they were so clueless. And then this game Bloodborne comes out. It's not even Dark Souls, you know. What I wanted was a Dark Souls game or a Souls game of some description that actually felt like it was on par with the original Dark Souls and Demon Souls. And then I get Bloodborne, which played differently. As far as I was concerned, it was not as good of a formula. I didn't like... Yeah, well, I'm not going to get into the details of what I didn't like about it, because then I'll be actually getting into a discussion about Bloodborne, and I would like to avoid that. I can possibly discuss it when I'm recording Elden Ring. I don't know, that might be somewhat topical, but... Yeah, I'm not going to turn this into a Bloodborne discussion. But yeah, my point is that I do have a history with playing From Software games. Quite a history. And I don't know how Elden Ring is going to fit into that. I don't know. But we will find out, and I'm hoping that I'll enjoy it. I really am hoping. So, yeah. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. I don't know how this video looks or how it sounds. I realise that it's not great, but yeah, this is the best I can do for this update video. And I think I'll bid you all farewell, for I have nothing else to add to this recording. I'll see you all when I am actually able to record in a way that looks and sounds good. And obviously when I'm able to record games, as opposed to just myself talking about, I don't know, Elden Ring and other things relating to my gaming life. I... I think I will bid you all farewell for now. Bye-bye.